All right, so today I have another box of bull python eggs that are hatching, and this is probably my most exciting clutch in the entire year. I actually paired up a lemon blast scaleless head with the pastel and the pinstripe to a lesser scaleless head. So I'm breeding two scaleless heads together. So according to the odds, 25% of the time I should get a completely scaleless ball python, completely stripped of all the scales, which is pretty awesome. I've been trying to get into the scaleless game for pretty much ever since I started in ball pythons. As a matter of fact, when I first started about six years ago, just the scaleless heads were selling for $45,000 a piece, which was unbelievable. And as soon as they would post, someone would buy them. They were going super fast. And over the years, it seemed like everybody wanted to jump into the scaleless heads. And as a matter of fact, a few years after that, I actually would go to like the NARBC. And a lot of people, their entire table, every single snake on their whole table was a scaleless head. They completely flooded the market with the scaleless and the scaleless head ball pythons to the point where the prices dropped really super fast to uh, the, pretty much the market crashed over the next few years to where it was almost not even feasible to get into that project. And a lot of people, I'd say most people actually bailed on the scaleless project and got into other things that made a little bit more money. <laughs> but some people, it seems like now that everybody's gotten out of it, it seems like the prices are starting to rebound and there's a few people getting back into the scaleless projects. So this is my first year where I could potentially get a completely scaleless ball python. And kind of the interesting thing is when I first produced my very first scaleless head ball pythons, one of my first clutches, I actually held back two lemon blast scaleless head females with the pastel and the pinstripe, and both of them laid eggs this year. So I actually doubled my odds as far as getting a completely scaleless ball python. So this is pretty exciting. I'll actually pull these eggs out of the incubator. We'll cut them open, take a peek, and hopefully I'll actually hit my very first completely scaleless ball python. All right, so this is exciting. Cross your fingers, hopefully we'll actually get one in this box of eggs. So let's take a look at this. I actually came in here about a week ago and I gave them a little crack right on the Preston seal, which I always like to do about a week before they hatch. And it looks like one of them is out. Another one's got his head out. Uh, this one does, neither one of them looks like it's completely scaleless. Looks like we have a nice lesser. And this one, let's see if it's a scaleless head. So it'd be a 66% chance of being a scaleless head. So you can actually look to see if there's any scales missing from the head. The other thing you can actually do is look at the scales right by the vent, right here, the last scale right by the vent. If it's a scaleless head, it'll actually be split in two. And let's take a look at this one. This one is not a scaleless head. Oh, bummer, no scales missing. It's just a regular lesser. <laughs> All right, so it's a lesser, I'll take a lesser. Not a lesser scaleless head, not a completely scaleless. All right, all right, all right. So let's see what we got here. All right, so this guy is kind of peeking out. I want to look at this guy first. So this can get kind of messy. I'm gonna put down a piece of paper towel here. All right, this can get pretty goopy. All right, let's take a look here. So this guy was kind of peeking out. Didn't look like a completely scaleless. So this could be, uh, well as a matter of fact, this could be, uh, uh, could be pastel. Uh, I'm not sure if that, that lesser had pastel. Didn't look like that lesser had pastel in it. Uh, let's take a look at this here. This one looks like it could be a lesser pastel. Uh, and it looks like it's a scaleless head. <laughs> kind of goopy on the head there, <laughs> if I can get the slime off. But yeah, you can see that one is definitely a scaleless head. Uh, definitely a lesser. It looks like it has pastel in it too. And kind of the other interesting thing is, it seems like a lot of your scaleless heads will have a really reduced pattern. So take a look at the pattern on that one. 
how reduced it is. Almost looks like uh, like the scaleless head gene almost acts like Enchi, where a lot of times it can really reduce the the pattern. But that one looks like uh, I'm saying uh, I think it has pastel in it just because of how white it is. So I think that's a a lesser pastel scaleless head on that one. And looking at this one, I don't think this one has pastel. I think this is just a uh, See, I think that's the difference what pastel does to it, is if you can actually see that. If I could get it under the camera there. <laughs> so that's pretty good. Got another scaleless head combo. Alright, so looks like we have a little boobang. I'm not sure how this one's doing. Doesn't look so hot with that boobang. Looks pretty bad, but you never know. So looks like we have four more to go. Oh, we gotta make a scaleless. We gotta get a scaleless on this. Alright, so let's take a look at this. See if I can keep it under the camera. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Let's see what we got in here. Uh, it looks like... Hmm... This looks like a pastel. Looks like a pastel. And I don't think it's a scaleless head just based on the pattern. It's kind of hard to tell, but usually the pattern is reduced with scaleless head. Uh, looks just like a pastel. <laughs> like a dark pastel. Pretty dark. But of course you never know until, oh, he's kind of sticking his head out a little bit, a little bit. Uh, I can't tell if that's scaleless head. I don't think so. Hard to tell on that one. I don't think it's a scaleless head. Based on just looking at the head, seeing if there's any scales. Uh, when it comes all the way out, I'll know for sure because I can look at the vent scale on that one. It looks like just a pastel on that one. Alright, so we get a lesser and a pass. <laughs> That's kind of the bad part about uh, the scaleless heads. <laughs> if you miss it, you just end up with uh, the single jeans, the regular jeans. Of course, we have uh, three jeans floating around in there, too. So, Alright, so we'll take a look at this one. This one is not cut at all. Take a look at that. Take a look at this one. Ooh, wow, look at, whoa, hey! <laughs> wow, let's see if this guy's alive. You doing all right in there, buddy? Wow. Huh? Are you alive? Hopefully you're alive. I think he's okay. That's a crazy looking snake right there. Boy, he's not moving though. He's not moving. Hopefully he's okay. He looks good. Look at that crazy snake. That is really wild. That is a completely scaleless ball python. <laughs> uh, I don't know if he's alive or dead though I think he's alive I think he's alive so the other interesting thing is when you actually look at the completely scaleless my very first one <laughs> that is awesome so everything changes as far as the genes and the appearance of the snake when you make a scale so so sometimes it's really hard to tell I'd say this one definitely has pinstripe you can see the pinstripe Coming right down the top, uh, usually with the pastel, uh, you can, the pastel usually jumbles up the pinstripe, kind of explodes. I don't think there's pastel on this one. I don't think there's lesser in this one. I think this one's just a, I think it's just a pinstripe scaleless ball python. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> That is awesome. So I'm definitely going to hold back 
at least one, maybe two completely scaleless. That's probably one I'd definitely hold back. Wow, that's exciting. Wow, that was a mess. <laughs> Look at how goofy this is. Wow, that is awesome. All right, ooh, this is one big mess here. Wow, I, I was kind of surprised at how different that looks just being a pinstripe. I think it's just a pinstripe in there on that one. All right, nice, we got one. See if we can get another one. That's pretty exciting. And I know those completely scaleless ball pythons, they're still selling for thousands of dollars. Which is interesting because the scaleless heads are fairly cheap still, as far as what I've seen. Alright, so let's take a look at this one. <laughs> Alright buddy, come on out. This one is, is... What do you think that is? It's a pastel. Uh, I think it's a scaleless head, actually. It almost looks like there's scales missing from the top of the head. Looks like the pattern's a little bit jumbled. You can see it's a little bit reduced. Uh, I think that is... And a lot of times with the, the scaleless head, a lot of times it'll like thin out the scales to the point where you'll actually get a brighter snake too. So I'm pretty sure that one is a scaleless head pastel. Alright, so we got one more little boo bag. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. One out of six. At least we got one. <laughs> and we got another clutch. I don't think there's a good snake in here. I think this one's a goner. Oof. I'm almost afraid to open this one. Yeah. I don't think this is a good one. Uh... All right. It kind of oh wow whoa 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 there's actually a snake in there uh he partially developed and died uh it's really stinky too uh it's really bad I don't think he's alive though I don't think so. Oh, it smells pretty bad. I don't know what to do with that one. <laughs> oh, that's disgusting. I think I'm going to toss it. But you can see his little head kind of partially developed right there. Oh, poor little guy. But, yeah, unfortunately... Just the way it smells, it smells really bad. And he's not moving at all. Oh, I'm going to toss it. <laughs> That is really bad. Oh, it's so disgusting. I'm going to have to bleach my hands after that one. Oh, that was a bad one to end on. Oh, Ooh, nasty. Yeah, you know you have a bad snake if something smells like that. All right. <laughs> Ooh, that one is, oh, that one's oh, so bad, so bad. Ooh. All right, so there you have it. Pretty nice, pretty nice. I got one scaleless. I think it's a, uh, I think it's a, uh, pinstripe scaleless. Hopefully it's okay. It smells good. It smells fresh. I think it's good. All right. There you have it. Even though he's not really moving that much. But hopefully he's okay. Uh, makes me want to pull him out a little bit just to make sure he's okay. Uh, <laughs> how you doing in there, buddy? Uh, the other thing about the, the scale is I'm always worried about uh, touching them too much. Uh, hopefully he's okay. Alright, so I haven't seen that guy move at all, so what I want to do, I want to open that up a little bit more. I want to see if he's alive. Oh, my first scaleless. If he was DOA, that'd be sad. All right, buddy. How are you doing in here? Oh, I 
it's a pretty wild looking snake. Oh, he's got like a like a film over him. That's weird. Very weird. He's still not moving though. All right, buddy. Let me see you. Oh yeah, there he is. Oh. All right, he's moving. <laughs> he's moving. The weird thing is, he had like a like a film all over him, like he was completely enclosed in a film. I had to break the film to give him oxygen, which may have saved his life, which is pretty interesting. All right, so I'm convinced he's alive. <laughs> he's alive. He moved. All right, so that's pretty awesome. My very first. Scaleless. Alright, so there you have it. Uh, I'll give you an update when these come out. I'm going to put them back in the incubator. Let them cook until they completely come out. And then we'll take a look at that one completely out of the egg, which is pretty awesome. Alright, so that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.